Hey everyone, Rodev here, and welcome back to the scripting series. This is your seventh uh, video, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, math and uh, just a few basic operations uh, of math in a script. So let's get right into it. So in Server Script Service, I'm going to hit plus, I'm going to click on the script button, and then if it doesn't open up for you guys, just go ahead and double click on it, and it will open up. But from there, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a variable since we already learned how to do this, and this one's going to be a uh, number or uh, not number, let's call this one uh, cool number and then we can uh, set this variable to an int value so an int number is just a number so let's just set it to something like 50 and then for a second number let's do local uh, water bottle since I have one beside me and let's uh, make this variable something like 14 so if we add these it's going to be 64 and for that all we have to do is local added numbers I'm going to call it equals cool number plus a uh, water bottle so uh, right after that I'm actually gonna print the added numbers very uh, the added numbers variable and then run the game and as you can see it prints out 64 now let's go over how that happened so we made a variable called cool number 50 water bottle of uh, 14 then we added them using a plus now if you want to make a plus all you have to do is hit shift and then the plus button on your keyboard it's actually a plus and then an equal and after you click that button it's gonna create a plus while holding shift and with that we added them as you can see and we put it under a new variable called added numbers and we printed that variable uh, one thing we could also do is literally just put these in here and we don't even need this variable anymore and it's the same thing print 64 so uh, that's basically how addition works and how you can add with variables this is literally also the same thing as typing 50 plus 14 and I'm sure you guys have guessed by now how to do subtraction uh, so let's just subtract both of these numbers and for that all we have to do is add a simple dash uh, it's actually a minus sign in Lua and if we hit run as you can see it printed 36 because it subtracted both numbers and uh, basically this is how you do math in Lua so we can do lo uh, local uh, subtracted numbers equals 50 minus 14 let me print uh, subtracted numbers I'm not gonna run this since we already know what it does but now I'm gonna show you guys division so local uh, num1 I'm gonna call it equals let's say 50 and then local num2 equals 10 and then local or not even local let's just print num1 divide actually uh, just uh, so it's easier I'm gonna call this local water actually let's stay on uh, let's just stay uh, with the proper variable names and call it local divided divided nums equals num1 divided by num2 so I've used a slash here basically a slash is how you divide in Lua so as you can see, uh, we didn't print out the variable. I'm just going to do print uh, divided nums, and it's going to print uh, 5, as you can see. Because what we did is 50 divided by, using the symbol right here, divided by 10. 50 divided by 10 is 5. So the same thing uh, applies for uh, uh, multiplication. If I do a star, as you can see, and I hit run, it prints 500. To create a star, what you do is you do, is you do shift, shift plus, uh, what is it, 8 shift and 8 together create stars and with stars uh, you can do multiplication in scripts so now using our knowledge of functions and parameters we can now create a function that adds numbers for us so what we can do is local function or not even local function we can just do function remember we did talk about global variables so uh, I think I did it a different way in my video I did function then the name so a better way to do this is local function local function and then the name of the function this one will be add nums and let's create some parameters so this one will be first number and then the second one uh, will be second number and then what we can do here is uh, print first number plus the second number so you don't have to add the spaces but it's better practice it looks cleaner and as you can see uh, this function will basically just print out the numbers so let's create a function call and there we go and in here let's just add in our parameters so let's do one and let's do two so this is going to print out three because it's going to add the first and second numbers it prints out three and if we make this something like five it's going to print out seven there you go so that's basically how this works now let's do something for division so um let's call this uh, div nums and then basically change the plus to a slash for division and then what we can do here i'm just going to copy this paste it here change up the function call a bit and then uh, let's do the same thing again so let's do 50 and 10 and then as you can see it prints 5 because what it did is first number becomes 50 
because it's the first parameter. And the second number is 10, it becomes the second parameter. And 50 divided by 10, since these are basically just variables in the function. 50 divided by 10 equals 5, and we printed that, so we printed 5. So that's basically how you do a few simple operations in Lua. And uh, let's take up the homework from yesterday's video, and I'll also give you guys homework for this video. And if, uh, if you're new, uh, I give homework out at the end of videos, and I'll take it up in the next one. So without further ado, let's take up yesterday's video's homework. Alright guys, so for yesterday's video, I asked you to make like a little chain of instances. So it would look, it would look uh, something like uh, this right here. And it's just a chain of instances. Um, so let me show you guys how uh, I would do this. So for this, I'm just going to delete the spawn location. And in the script, we can do local. Uh, I'm just going to use random letters. So local x equals instance.new part. x.parent equals game.workspace. And the next one is local y equals instance.new. And then we could do something completely random, like viewport frame. And then y dot parent equals x, and then for the next one we can do local z equals instance dot new. Uh, let's do something like a, uh, a click detector, and then we can do z dot parent equals y. And if I run this, as you can see, basically inside the part is a viewport, and then the click detector. That's like a little chain, and then basically just keep going on. So local s equals instance dot new smoke s dot parent equals z and as you can see in the workspace part viewport frame click detector smoke and this is basically uh, the answer for yesterday's homework and without further ado I'm going to give you guys today's homework so for today I just want you guys to create uh, four functions and four functions are uh, just for all the operations that we learned about today so local addnums or function addnums and then uh, another one for subtraction subtract nums, local uh, divide numbers, and the last one, local uh, multiply numbers. So yeah, anyways guys, if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful and you learned about mathematical operations in Lua, uh, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as we uh, just hit 1000. We're grinding through 2000 now. So uh, yeah, uh, other than that guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.